everybody. It's Monday. It's March 15th. Um, how's your Lent going? Hope you, uh, whatever you want to practice, that you're sticking to it. And if, if you're not, you can recommit again, right? Don't get discouraged. If you want to do something, you're not, you know, keeping it totally or as well as you would have liked. Well, then, start again, all right? So anyway, our reading is from Isaiah chapter 65, verse 17. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create a new heavens and a new earth, the things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there should be always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy and its people to be a delight. St. Teresa Avila said, a sad saint is no saint to be joy. And way back when I was with the Salesians and we have different communities, and you get assigned to different houses. You know, the main thing that was really important wasn't so much sometimes even the work that was being done, or where the work was located. Some could have been little challenging areas, and some were maybe better areas, you know what I'm saying? Nicer home and different comforts maybe. But what was most important was who you were living with, the people you live and work with. And what you really wanted was someone to be full of a joyful person, because you could be in the nicest place, have the nicest home, <laughs> whatever it is, the best job, whatever you think, and if you're working with someone who is dour and sad, depressing, it destroys you. Because God said, what did he want? He said, I created you to be a joy. It's people to be a delight. Hmm? So when you, enter, when you enter a room, do you bring the spirits up? Or do you bring spirits, you know, the spirits down? Do you bring joy? That means, so watch your speech. Are you a positive? Are you a negative? Complaining? Finding fault? Or do you look for the good? Be joyful. Maybe that could be your Lenten practice. If you haven't had one yet, I will be joyful. God bless you.